hi guys it's lynn again welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is lynn i am an overseas student from vietnam who had the privilege to live and work in the uk for the last 10 years and in the, my previous video i have shared with you the great news that i managed to obtain the indefinite leave to remain in the uk status that which means that i can live freely in the uk without worrying about visa in the video today i just want to share with you guys how do i feel about the freedom that i have and my my observation about the recent experience that I've got from the amount of stress that people are having to go through and I have the privilege to be living in a developed country and there's, there's a large amount of prescription that I've screened recently to dispense antidepressant medication and even when I was covering acute ward there was a lot of people who are recently admitted from overdose of their medication or people who decide that the last resource of them is to commit suicide and that's yet they feel like they are not getting help by the authority or their own family drive people to the ward and that they feel like there's no help and that's the the ultimate escape that people have is committing suicide what define happiness what make people happy and i think as i'm reading through the books by uh, juna harari he is a historian who publics three different books i'm still slowly digesting through all three the first book was sapien and the second one was homo deus and the last one one is 21 lesson for the 21st century and as I'm reading through the book I am constantly questioning myself the society that we are living in and what make people give up so easily and how come we are easy to get really stressed out and we easily to get frustrated with things when it doesn't go our way and that we are bombarded with a lot of information and sometimes I wonder are those information even relevant to us positive to our emotional well-being actually feeding us the right information and the interesting chapter that I'm reading right now and trying to use that to observe the world that I'm living in to trying to make sense of the world and do we really even understand ourselves I really admire Juv Harari he is so smart so wise and the way he write in his book it all these thought-provoking and mindful questions that he presented to us and yet not many people are really tuning into it because we are constantly bombarded with social media we bombarded with things that not really relevant to us but yet because everyone around us are discussing about it and yet our tribe our friendship our acquaintance our family are constantly feeding us all of this information we are so busy to stay in that bubble and yet we forget to look at the bigger picture there's the constant change that we are living in the complexity and how it will be and how it quickly changed and even if we were discussing about coronavirus in the last two years and that when we went through the pandemic you know it's so doom and gloom you know we are overcoming it soon we'll be forgotten about and it, it just amazed at how quickly we managed to recover from that with the advance of technology the advance of medicines and how we can create vaccines so quickly but that go in hand in hand with the complexity and how biotechnology will advance and they will manage to gather enough information about it and that they will understand us more than we understand ourselves and i want to take a step back and try to understand what would make me happy from my own individual approach or to look at it collaboratively with the world that we're living in and how it quickly it will change understanding yourself or taking the step in the cell discovery process is a challenging process and actually not a lot of us know what really make it happy and if you just start observing your surrounding your acquaintance people just kind of like getting used to their rhythm and work and that's work is all they know they love the stability and they love knowing what they know none of us actually question whether it will bring us happiness and actually maybe we are too focusing as a pharmacist as the uh, healthcare professional we trying to we focus so much on trying to cure people trying to cure one individual condition and we forget the bigger picture the care that we provided for patient is so fragmented we only spend 20 minutes with them rushing through when i am at the community pharmacy or when i am at the hospital the amount of time that i get to speak to the patient is so little and that's i would try to just treat their acute condition but they actually behind them is the whole picture the holistic approach about the patient as a whole and the thing that they're going through and that we're trying to just treat one condition but actually the root underneath that is actually so much deeper and yet we are so busy and that we never had chance or none of the 
the fragmented care the patient receive to treat the whole picture to actually get to the root of it and help patient to overcome actually, right now we actually just trying to treat the symptom to mask it and i'm seeing like those amount of um, antidepressants and that's actually saddened me knowing that antidepression is common dismen medicines we actually don't know much about ourselves we actually don't know much about what would make us really happy reflecting on my journey and when i was 18 why i was so eager to learn maybe my adaptability is not as much as where i was before i am maybe more resistant to changes as i'm getting older and i have more things in my life maybe the fear of losing all the things that i've got is so much the the luggage that i have is so heavy and that's i am no longer want to forget about that or take a step back from it and put my bag pack again going on an adventure to explore a bigger horizon people will be questioning me like you spend so much of your time at university to get the degree that you wanted and yet are you crazy to just give it all up and try something else different are you crazy to go away from your stability the job that you have the good paycheck that you have the book says re remind me that the opposite is true and that yet you can forget about the thing that you were money you can always start from the beginning whether i am 15 or 50 i can always make the change the most important skills that i need to equip for myself eager to learn to have that flexibility and to have that the reserve mental balance to overcome all the changes that we are facing and we just don't know what the future holds sometimes i am questioning myself why am i becoming like this and i think the the answer could be because we're living in a social media world that technology is changing us the acquaintance that we have everything that we have gathered is based on our small collective group of our friendship our uh, family and acquaintance that feeding us with all their opinion and that we are no longer looking at the bigger picture if we are searching on google all of that suggestion that google or amazon suggests to us you might also like kind of suggestion or the based on our search and it's ultimately be form our opinion and how it's so subject to bias or well, that's all we know and if we are unwillingly to explore further we ultimately will become subject to those bias chapters 15 when Juno actually give us the concept about ignorance and how we are so ignorant. Behavioral economists and evolutional psychologists have demonstrated that most human decisions are based on emotion reaction and heuristic shortcuts of the rule of thumb rather than a rational analysis and that's why our emotion and heuristics was perhaps relevant when we was living in the stone age they are woefully inadequate in the silicon age the mistake that we are all face is that we think we know a lot but actually we don't even though we know very little because we treat knowledge in our mind of others as if it was our own. This makes us so ignorant that is to what's going on. They're giving us the concept that we are facing the so-called knowledge illusion, which is like we are all living an information age. We are bombarded with the infinity pool of information. And sometimes we forget to question, are those information that we rested in our brain even relevant or are we just do what everyone else our friends are doing we have that fear of missing out that we have to do that the world that we're living is so complex yet the majority of us fail to realize how ignorant we are with what's going on we're not even aware of our ignorance as we lock inside the echo chamber of like-minded friends and well i believe are constantly reinforced and solemnly challenged and that's the moment that somebody is challenge our opinion we become frustrated we go into twitter to give our opinion and that's all having a little debate if somebody else disagree with your opinion and so and we get really emotional angry at it and they actually making it so like it's not even a face-to-face -face conversation and yet we feel so outrageous and that somebody questioning our opinion we don't dare to give any significant opinion because we are too scared of being feeling judged by other people the solution for that if you want to find the truth is you need to escape the black hole of power and allow yourself to waste a lot of time wandering here and there on the periphery revolution knowledge rarely makes to the center because center is built on existing knowledge the truth is that we are all trapped inside the box our friends and family acquaintance are all in there 
feeding us with their belief and I feel like I think I mentioned that concept before in my minimalism video when I actually realized that we are trapped in this consumerism world and that we need to work hard and we need to spend and waste all our money to buy all these luxurious things because we think that it will make us happy when we have the bigger house when we have a bigger car when we have this new design handbag we forget that actually we are trading our time with the most precious thing in this earth to spend with the people who really care for us or to expand a new horizon to widen our mind sometimes we don't even know to actually discover what will make us happy internally and that's we actually know that the everything you experience is so unique and that's no two people will have the same experience that what i experience will be different to tristan's it's like we're living in the matrix whether we swallow the red bill or the blue pills it doesn't really matter because even if we're getting out of the matrix it will be the same we all as a human we subjecting to all the emotion that we go through or even if you if i don't know if you watch the disney movie called inside out and how our reaction and the actually a chamber of people different buttons that people press that could trigger us at as it, our emotion and how we react to things and it's, it's how it's portrayed into that animation actually, even though it's a movie for kids but actually the bigger picture is that we are all subjected to that and if technology and government manage to gather enough data actually understand us and find way to manipulate us before we manage to discover ourselves i'm afraid that we've actually all the decision or that we are going to make will be subject to bias we probably won't know what we really enjoy we will be subject to all that manipulation i guess it's not fun to talk about this topic but actually i hope that you is motivate you and if you're going to the same journey as i am the journey of self-discovery if you have not watched my video where um, i share with you guys the biggest lesson that i've gathered is the lesson to understand about my personality understand what really make me happy might have the opportunity to actually unleash my freedom to learn to be subjected to learn from very smart people to to know the world that we are living the bigger picture that we might not be aware of if we just too busy living paycheck to paycheck to too busy searching for the next promotion or too busy solving conflicts at work and you might never have the space to actually learn to look at the bigger pictures and i guess it's just a big reflection for myself before i turn 28 reflection about the year that i'm projecting for myself of searching for uh, my inner happiness following my ikigai and knowing that the knowledge that i've gathered the experience that i'm going through might not be relevant in the next six months in the next years or in the next five years and that thing will change and then i would never know what it will be but the only the way that i can learn to equip that will be the ability to adapt so quickly that was just one of the chapter of the books actually there's 21 big lessons in the book and they all really thought-provoking debate that we should all read i hope if you find any video interesting then please go and buy the book yourself have a read through them if you have any spare time it's really quite long and and if you don't have time then probably i suggest you to download it on audible book and in this chapter about ignorance it's reminding myself what i am subjecting to that my chin my monkey is taking over me and making all that decision and that people might be going through the same journey as well with all so much uncertainty and how my patients are feeling you linked down as how they are and probably trying to instead of rushing to the next patient maybe have a bit of taking a bit of slow approach and trying to understand them and that's we can actually spend and helping them to tackle the root of the issue uh, instead of just trying to mask the symptom and i guess it is a bigger picture than that and it's actually required the collaboration with a big different organization and i hope we get to that one day I guess it that's all for me today and I hope you find it useful and uh, it's just a reflection for me from the journey of a self discovery and looking at bigger picture of other things that we should be going through and i look forward to seeing you in the next video take care and goodbye